talking without any pressure of seeing myself on the camera on the screen just here is a mere entity as a vessel as a voice as someone that is reaching out to just give some words of courage and encouragement mm. and I just want to take a moment and say I thank you so much for being here and if you do enjoy my content, I do ask that you please like, share, and subscribe, or subscribe, or whichever, as you showing your appreciation for my content is going to give me more feedback to know if I am reaching anyone out there. So it's very helpful. And thank you for anyone who's given me any feedback because I am merely a human on this earth, <laughs> and, you know, I'm just doing the best I can, but I just want to slip into a space of, of a different version of reality, a space where all of my dreams are coming true. I'm so ready to live my best life, and I feel that I already am. I'm in a space right now that would normally, in any other circumstance, be quite uncomfortable for me to be in, not having my own personal freedom in every aspect, just being around other beings that, even though I love very much, don't get me wrong, but just not having my personal freedom like I'm used to. But at the same time, I look at myself and I'm absolutely loving every second of it. I'm seeing the opportunities and the break from society and the pressure of all of the excess things that were going out constantly to where I always felt as if I was drowning. I feel like that burden has been lifted off of me in so many ways. I find comfort in the space that I've created within this home and even though it may be a very tiny little space, <laughs> it is my little tiny space and I'm grateful for this tiny little space and it is literally a domain of peace when you walk in. The aura is amazing and everything of stress just lifts off of you just like my home used to do. So I'm so grateful. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm so grateful that everything that I do anymore in my life, I'm able to see the bright side of. And I do not by any means live the life of luxury at this moment, nor honestly do I feel the need or desire to live a life of luxury because personally, I feel that personal happiness is what matters to me the most. But at the same time, am I opposed to having a life of luxury, bliss, and everything I want? Absolutely not. I am not against that one tiny bit. I want to travel the world. I want a beautiful home by water, by a beach, or somewhere in a forest type vibe. Just something beautiful. I just want to live. I want to feel, feel nature underneath my toes when I walk outside. I want to be able to swing in the brisk, fresh air and just like out in open space. I love open space. Open space makes me, oh, it just makes me melt. <sighs> and what I really also like, 
don't want to say I want these things because I know these things are coming to me. That's the thing. I'm learning how to manipulate my words, my thought processes to be able to make things flow to me with ease instead of pushing them away with the words that I use or the symbolism that I attach to the linkage of everything. And really, when it comes down to it, no, I don't want any of that. But am I receiving that? Yes. Because am I worthy of it? Yes. And do I have the mentality to be able to accept that now? And I do. And I am literally looking and living my life and self as a, a living manifestation, a portal, a tool that, that magnifies and magnetizes all of the greatness and all the things that I am, I am going to receive. I am receiving to me at all times because I have faith and confidence in the ability of myself to be able to receive those beautiful, lovely things and, and people in my life. The things and people are the, what I'm receiving. And I'm so grateful. And that is a part of it. I feel like if I always remain grateful, then that just, it just makes it to where no matter what I receive, I'm grateful. Do I have things going on in my life that are fucking crazy? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes, I do. But the thing about that is, is it's okay. Because not one of those things sways me from my center. Not one single thing sways me from my center. I'm not going to say not one single person does because <laughs> there is one person that does sway me sometimes, but that person is really no other than myself. So, and I have the power to do that. So I fully respect and understand that. But I just want to mention, because I know times are rough, times are heavy. There's a whole thing going down with like this, this, this infestation that enters our bodies when we let fear consume us. That is what's gone viral. Fear has gone viral. It's nothing about the disease. It's nothing about the virus, the virus, we are creating that vi, the vi inside of us. It's a vibration, a vibratory field of fear. And when we let fear consume us, fear is what we become. So everyone who hears this, I hope that you are encouraged to look within yourselves and realize that you are worthy of greatness, you are worthy of peace, and you are worthy of living your best life fearlessly, 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 fearlessly. You are amazing. You are a vibrant being of light that deserves the world. You are amazing. You are worthy of achieving and living your best life. You are capable of achieving your dreams. You are magnetizing every single positive thought that you have back towards you in your auric field and manifesting, manifesting those ideologies, those concepts, those beliefs, those views, those images, those, those things are now becoming a physical matter of reality. And you are able to do this because you were completely whole and at center and at focus with yourself and you know what you want. You see that what you want is there and it's not even that you want it. You see what is yours. And you see it coming towards you because now it's in your peripherals. It's, it's becoming more in your sight to where you know that it's there. It's just a matter of how it's going to come, when it's going to come, and leaving that up to the universe because the universe writes that script. We are merely the actors. 
I send you love, I send you light, and I hope this message translates to someone, resonates with another, and helps out as many as possible. I send so much love and light, and I am going to be doing this so much more frequently because I feel that my words need to be heard by someone. There's someone out there that my words can help, and I want to be that help. I want to be that person that someone can go to and listen to if they need an uplifting spirit because I'm so used to having that energy and putting it out into people that I meet on a daily basis and being confined and put into a place to where I'm all by myself I'm seeing that I can I can speak my truth and my message to myself but I can also record it and give that message to another and maybe just maybe that'll spread just like a dandelion, I just envisioned a dandelion, like blowing it and how all of the little pieces, like they all just like fly off and then you end up having a bunch of dandelions that pop up. You know, whatever happened to the dandelions? Mm. And side note, I don't see dandelions here anymore. I used to always see them as a kid, but maybe it's just not time yet. We'll see. But either way, may we spread positivity and love and light and just clarity you know life's not always about positivity there's darkness yes there's darkness there's darkness of course but the thing is if we choose to bring light to the darkness and see it for what it is because what it really is is just a shit show <laughs> when it really comes down to it it is just a show just like the politics everything's a show and we're just merely observing but we have to act as if we are both the participant and the observer because if we only act as if we're one of those two we miss one point of view so we're only going to be 50 one foot in the door one foot out and that's okay to some exception, of course. But at the same time, it's just more fun if we choose to play along because we know where our role is to participate and observe. Okay, but as I was saying before, I'm ending this video and I love you. I send you light, I send you peace, I send you prosperity. And I thank you so much for being a part of this transmission from me to you. And when I speak, I speak from my highest point of view that I can possibly perceive and interpret to be able to translate onto anyone else outside of myself. So please know that everything I do is here for all of us. And I love you. Thank you. Have a wonderful moment of your now. Life is such a mystery. You just never really know what to expect until things start happening. And then even when they start happening, you really don't know what to expect. You just know that things are happening and you're just kind of going with the flow. And the thing is, you don't want to necessarily go with the flow, but instead create your own flow. Create a balance, create a balance of what you're comfortable with and what your limitations are within your range of comfortability to where you feel at ease with what you're doing, but you're still putting out just a little bit more than what you would normally do. You know, like there's a balance somewhere in between. You don't have to go all out and go over the top just to be able to take a step ahead in life by achieving one goal at a time. We take steps and steps, not in flying from crawling. Right. <laughs>